Pozo Seco Singers. Welcome them, please. Walk me out in the morning do my honey Walk me out in the morning do today Can't walk you out in the morning do my baby Can't walk you out in the morning and all of a sudden I got this call from Albert Grossman, who was, a, who was the manager of, among others, the Pozo Psycho Singers. He also managed Peter, Paul, and Mary, and uh, Janis Joplin, and uh, Ian and Sylvia, and some of the real, you know, the big stars of the folk scene at that time. And he said that Milt Oken, who was a musical arranger for us, uh, the Brandywine Singers and Peter, Paul, and Mary, had suggested that he call me because the Pozo Seco Singers were losing a member. And would I be interested in perhaps coming down and auditioning, meeting them, seeing whether anything clicked? And I said I would. I think that our first show together was in the Chicago area. It was somewhere in the Midwest, and we had to go out and buy me a, a corduroy suit because that's what the guys were wearing at the time. I remember that, and I don't remember where it was, but it was in the Chicago area. And I think I did pretty well. I was kind of nervous, but Pi, Susan, and Don were such pros that they managed to pull me through it. And I get stronger and stronger as the went along. Eager lady, make a wish, pray. Turn them out, ride in the hot, hot sun. Tomorrow, Papa, will turn them into sun. Well, they call Mama Rita and my daddy's Jack. Little baby brother on the floor, that's Mac. I'll tell you something that really impressed me, and in that sense I never forgot it. We were playing at the University of Oklahoma, I think. It was either that or Kansas, but it was a homecoming. And we had two things happen that night that stuck with me this entire time. During our concert, we would always have each performer have a solo by him or herself. The others would leave the stage and they, either I or Don or Susan would do something. And Don went out one night, that night, and he kind of draped himself over this microphone. And it was a big, big hall. I don't know, maybe 5,000 people could have been there. And it was homecoming. And Don sang a song called Country Boy. And that audience just hush. And he just laid that song out there in that wonderful voice of his and brought the house down. Just a strong, I ain't gonna marry you in the fall. And all of a sudden that voice that Don has went out there and people just quieted. Everybody in place.
Um, with the Pozos, <clears throat> we traveled extensively. We paid, played hundreds of colleges in Canada, the United States. We did a lot of big television shows. And that was a tremendous experience for me, too. And we met some fine people and made some good records, I think. Some of them deserved to be hit records. I consider the two years, a little shy of two years, that I spent with the Pozo Seiko Singers as among the best years that I've spent in this business. I really enjoyed both of them. I admired them. Don Williams, Susan Taylor, now known as Taylor Pye. They were great and continued to be great artists, great talents. And I learned a lot from them. Again. Thought I heard my baby crying long, long, long. Thought I heard my baby crying mama. Thought I heard my baby crying mama. Also, Chico singing. We'll be right back.